What if I told you that your anxiety, depression, and stress aren't character flaws or permanent conditions? They're just your brain making the same type of mistakes your phone's autocorrect makes. And what if fixing them was as simple as updating your mental software? Stay with me for the next six minutes, because I'm about to show you how your brain is literally getting reality wrong, and the surprisingly simple way to fix it. Here's what's actually happening in your head right now. Your brain is basically a prediction machine. It's constantly guessing what's going to happen next, based on what happened before. Sarah sends a text to her friend. Hey, wanna hang out? Two hours pass, no reply. Sarah's brain immediately predicts, she hates me, I said something wrong, everyone thinks I'm annoying. But here's the reality. Her friend was in a three-hour meeting with their phone on silent. Sarah's brain made a perceptual error. It filled in missing information with the worst possible explanation. That's not a personality problem, it's a processing error. Mike has to give a presentation. His brain remembers that one time in 8th grade when he forgot his lines in the school play. Now it predicts, you'll mess up, everyone will laugh, your career is over. Reality, Mike gives dozens of successful meetings every year, but his brain is stuck using outdated data from 20 years ago. Think of your brain like a smartphone that never updates its apps. It's running on old data, making predictions based on experiences from when you were 5, 10, or 15 years old. Your anxious brain is like a security camera that only records break-ins, but never records the 364 days nothing happened. You remember every embarrassing moment, but forget the thousands of normal interactions. Depression makes your brain think it can predict the future. This will never get better. But your brain is using corrupted data, like trying to predict tomorrow's weather using data from 1985. Social anxiety makes you think you know what others are thinking. They think I'm weird. But you're not psychic. Your brain is just making stuff up based on your worst fears. So how do we fix these errors? We need to update your brain's operating system. And the update is called mindfulness. But forget meditation cushions and incense. Mindfulness is simply teaching your brain to stop using old data and start seeing what's actually happening right now. When you feel anxiety or depression rising, pause, say, my brain is making a prediction. Let me check if it's accurate. Your boss wants to talk to you. Your brain says, you're getting fired. Pause, ask, what evidence do I actually have for this? Look at what's actually happening not what your brain is predicting. Use the 5 d 4 3 2, 1 technique. Every time you catch an error and correct it, you're literally rewiring your brain. It's like teaching autocorrect new words. Set three phone alarms. When they go off, ask, what story is my brain telling me right now? Is it actually true? Before checking your phone, ask, what am I assuming will go wrong today? Write it down, then write, what could go right? When anxiety hits, count five slow breaths and ask, is this a real threat or is my brain using old data? Each night, write three things that actually happened today, not feelings, just facts. This trains your brain to see reality, not just its negative predictions. After social interactions, ask, what actually happened, versus, what did I imagine happened? You'll be shocked how different they are. Week 1. You'll catch yourself making these errors two to three times. Week 2. You'll start pausing before spiraling. Month 1. Your anxiety responses will feel less automatic. Month 2. You'll notice you're catastrophizing less. Month 3. Your brain's default predictions start changing. This isn't magic. It's just teaching your brain to use accurate, current information instead of outdated, corrupted files. Your mental health struggles aren't character flaws, they're perceptual errors. And errors can be corrected. Try this for just one week. Set three daily reminder alarms. When they go off, ask, what's my brain predicting versus what's actually happening? Come back and comment your biggest realization. Remember, you're not broken. Your brain is just using bad data. 
update your mental software, and watch your life change. If this helped you see your mental health differently, share it with someone who needs to hear this and subscribe for Health Science For All for more research-based content. Your brain's errors aren't your identity. They're just bugs in the code that you now know how to fix.